or just here with Jocelyn. Whoa, whoa. Now, there's two types of onikodaki. There's the emulte onikodaki. There's actually also an ura onikodaki where you come through like this. All right. So right now we're going to start with this a multi onikodaki, but we're going to look at it from here. And maybe we just grab him, wrestle him. You know, maybe I just kind of hit him. I'm going to sneak this hand under, push back, grab, rotate, take Hank down. Okay. Does that make sense? What I really want to see tonight is I don't want to see a lot of this. All right, let's not have it in here like that. Hank can still hit me, you know, if he wants. I don't want that. As we're grabbing on, I've hit Hank. I've stepped, kind of started going behind him, leaning back, getting him here. So now that opportunity to hit me is pretty gone. Mate, you guys are doing, you guys are doing really, really well. Randy, can I borrow you, please? So one thing I want people to really realize, and, and you guys are doing well on this, and so, but I want to make sure you realize what you're doing is, again, there's no way, if I stay like this, there's no way I'm going to push Randy's hand off of me so hard that I get him to here with just my arms. That's never going to happen. He's not going to let go. I'm not going to be able to muster that much strength to do that. I may get a straight arm, I'm probably gonna get hit. So if I know that his hand, in the end, like it one more time, needs to be here, and he's grabbing onto my shoulder, then I'm just going to push, just get my hand in there, I'm gonna put my shoulder over here. And now I got him, all right? So I'm doing it more with my body than I am my arms. Does that make sense? The nice thing about the gable grip is that I'm, I have his arm on my chest. I can rotate my body and my arms don't have to do anything. One of the things that I'll see is I'll see folks get to this gable and then they'll try to do stuff with their arms and at any point he decides to resist or slip out, all of a sudden, oh gosh, we've gone to, uh, you know, we're on our way to Turkey Town. We don't like to be there. So make sure that if you're using this grip, um, that we're using our body with what we're doing. And now it's very easy to move around and keep control of that shoulder joint. So please, this isn't so that your arms can force it. It helps with stability. It helps with trapping the arm a bit. And it helps make sure your body movement is applying with no slack in the system through your hands. Does that so now this is an Ura multi Gyaku, uh, sorry, Onikidaki. He's going to come in. I'm going to be here, almost like I'm grabbing this arm. And I could, I can actually break this arm. We're going to skip that part for a second. It's going to be here, hand here, hand here. Okay. I'm going to turn back around in front of Matt. And as I do this, I'm going to grab my arm, hit Matt in the face with my elbow and extend my elbow past his shoulder. All right, that's the real key. Make sure you get your elbow, this elbow, past him. So uh, one of the patterns that I'm seeing is I'm seeing folks go all the way over here to start this. I have completely turned my back to this guy. <laughs> I have given up good fighting for the sake of trying to just learn a technique. So. Let's, uh, woo, let's be aware that this might be part of a fight here where we're actually hitting, striking, dealing with stuff. I'm still kind of at least facing in this direction. I can still see what's going on. Please don't over rotate this. This also, all Arden has to do is literally pull his elbow back. I'm gonna lose that. I, it, you, you won't maintain that. I'll try to hold on to it. Go ahead, pull back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna keep that. Ooh. Oh yeah, there we go. And then now you got this nice Takiori right here at the bottom too. Mr. Reichenberg. So Paul comes out here, I'm getting here. And people get to about here. And they like they try to make this work. This will never work from here. I mean, think about it. I'm gonna hit Paul so hard that he falls down and I'm holding his arm up here. This is never going to happen. It's never going to happen. This elbow and this whole thing needs to be behind him and then I can go. And to get that behind him, I need my body behind him. There's no way that this is going to work if my body is in front of him. I'm holding him up, right? Oh. I mean, try, try to fall down. <laughs> he can't do it. <laughs> he literally can't fall down from here. I need this elbow and my body to go behind him. I see a lot of people doing with this his arm. It's just literally not gonna work, okay? So be easy. So then I see if people just start struggling and they start like manhandling, it's never gonna happen. Here, 
turn, elbow behind, you get behind, and walk. This should be very easy. You shouldn't have to get a lot of arm stuff in it. If you feel like you have to, look at your position. My guess is it's wrong. Okay? Make sense? Go ahead. If I have my, uh, my placement arm here kind of below his elbow, what happens is as I go to rotate, he can pull back his elbow, no problem, and protect his arm very, very easy for him to defend himself from there. Horrible things can actually happen. Uh, I'm not quite on the elbow. I'm a little bit above the elbow. I find there's a nice little shelf there. Uh, now from here, if he goes to pull back the elbow, he's kind of pulling me into this a little bit and making my life a little easier. It's a small little detail, but I find an easy one to forget. It's so many busted plays can get this. So Hank's coming in, yeah, he's put, pushing, and maybe I'm putting him into an arm bar and he steps out from that arm bar. Great. I have now have that option. All right. He's thrown that punch and I've just got in here. Boom. Boom. I break the arm right there. Crack. He, or he feels that he jumps out in front of me, jumped out in front of me, jump out in front of me. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah. And we can go over there. There's so much centrifugal force in this that you can just reverse out of. It's really nice. And I think a couple of people showed there's a really nice um, lockup in this with that Takayori. Um, and I want to concentrate on that for a second, give you a little cheat. So just like when we looked at this person was here and they kind of cramped in, you couldn't get to it. What if as you're going for this, they pull this in and you can't get your, can't get your elbow in front, you can hit them, a couple times. That's great and wonderful, but I can't get my arm behind him, so I can't really complete this whole thing. So what do I do? I'm going to embellish that Takayori for a second. And we're going to go from there. All right. How's your hand? Good. Uh, who else? Who else? Who's a decent wrist right now? Arden. So he comes in. Yeah. I pull it. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, I can't. Uh. Okay. That position, that takayori, same for like if a person's in an arm bar and they're fighting against an arm bar. You pound on that takayori for a second and it really loosens the whole thing up. So if you find, so if you find slowly, I'm here and I've gotten to do this and he pulls in, oh, oh, I can't do it. Damn, me, I can knee him, but I'm gonna lose this. I'm just gonna, that's why I have this grip here. And I'm gonna go from there. Uh, when you are working on this takayori version, if you're over their shoulder, you know, we've, we've really let the elbow angle break down. We know we're kind of seeking 90 degrees on the elbow with Onukudaki, but it breaks down. Let's say that happens. Um, I'm actually going to have a very hard time applying Onikudaki through her shoulder. She has too much clearance, too much shoulder flexibility. Uh, she has a 6 to 12. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, I want to make sure that this is actually kind of breaking away from her body. This is actually going toward my chest, not her shoulder. So just a little thing to be aware of. Uh, if you're trying to do takiori here to somebody, you're uh, kind of tap them on the shoulder with your own hand. And while very friendly, not quite the break you're looking for. Uh, bring it out around a little bit and break it into open space. All right, now if I'm going to be really super mean to Hank, I'm going to back up to Mr. LeBay and I'm going to put this hand back around to the front of his knee. But I won't, because I like Hank. Turkey Town, I'm sorry, YouTube. <laughs> Let's make this easier on people. It's easier, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it's almost like loving patterns. I'm just teasing, but for real, I'll, I'll, it's... Anyway. And action. So uh, one other troublesome, troublesome thing that I see is... Whoa! No, yeah! There we go. Yeah. Oh, hi, Lana. 